Hello. I am live on Instagram. I am trying to find how to add more people to my stream. Okay, go live with. Dominic, Dominic, Dominic. Dominic, I want you to join, buddy. Hey, doctor. Okay. Are you guys able to hear me? Hey, are you guys able to hear me? Uh, Alright, good, good. Cool. Because, uh, Doc here said that he was not able to hear me. I am just waiting for Dominic to join in and then we are going to start off with the session. Uh, Dominic, Dominic, buddy, come on. How are you guys? How are you doing? How is everyone? Thanks for joining in this live stream. We are going to be talking about <clears throat> people development and entrepreneurship. It's going to be an interesting discussion. And uh, Dominic Oraua and I am going to be talking about different perspectives on how to develop your knowledge, your skills, your abilities and we're also going to be talking about how you can develop your business, your brand, it's going to be pretty awesome. Just waiting for Dominic to join in. Dominic, you there, buddy? Hi, Saeed. Can you hear me clearly? I can hear you very well, buddy. My followers are all excited. They're waiting to listen to you talk. And uh, we've got a few people already. Audience is building up. I'm sure people are also going to be joining and enjoying soon enough. I'm looking forward to a nice and exciting session. How are you doing today? Yeah. Sorry, let me. Uh, I, I can hear you very clearly, buddy. You're good. Okay. Um, so, um, I don't know. Should we wait like a couple of minutes, one or two minutes for people to. Come on. More people to actually join in right now so that we sure can, sure we just in the meantime you can just talk a little bit about uh nigeria and the city that you're in right now okay um on a larger scale nigeria is doing very very well but um uh, for for where I am at the moment, the state I am at the moment, they have a, um, will I say, minimal level of understanding of the trends in the world and how the world is moving. And that is one of the things that um, I and my team 
are trying to help change. So these are the things we are trying to help change, and um, we believe that we are, we have, we've seen progress. We've seen progress over um, what we do at GemTech Systems and also what we do at Startup Taraba. It has helped um, it, two different groups of people, but um, it's toward the same goal of growth. That's what we look at for growth. In both of them, what we are looking for is growth. For Startup Taraba, it's growth of um, entrepreneurs, career persons, those kind of people. For um, GemTech Systems, it's actually focused on individuals and businesses that are willing to leverage technology for growth. So everything is about growth. For everything I do is... That's very nice. And I think it's, it's really important for not just entrepreneurs, but everybody. I mean, as, as the human race to have goal-oriented actions, because that is the only way to make sure that uh, whatever we are doing has a positive uh, end result. And I think I think that's the key, right? New success. <clears throat> All right. So okay. we've got some people who've joined us already. And um, I think we can begin the session now. So you should you should yeah. start off by talking a little bit about yourself and a little bit about Gentech Systems. And then we're going to take the session on from there. Okay. Um, my name is uh, Dominic Oroa, and um, I, I, I am passionate about businesses, most especially. And in as much as I run a tech company, I am very particular about startups and how they succeed. And that is where I draw inspiration from. I actually spend a lot of time understanding startups and what makes them successful so that we could try to replicate such successes in other people. So that is my kind of person. That is who I am. But I run um, two different, will I say, companies. One targeted towards technology, technology-driven solutions, and the other targeted towards building up startups, entrepreneurs, career persons, building them up to standard that they could kill, start their business, yeah scale their business and also sustain their businesses. Even in a career, in even in employment line, you are going towards the employment line, could help you to become a better employee, better person in your life in general. That's what we do there. So basically that is just it at, at the Gentech systems, Gentech systems will help you to build products, digital products most especially that solve real life problems in your business. We are not focused on getting things done. We are focused on give, give, getting things done that will solve a real problem that you face in your business. As far as it's going to require technology, we are the right people to call. Yeah, so that's just a little bit about me and yeah. what I do. So it's I was, I was, I was going through your website earlier. Yes, I think you're doing some great work, especially um, how you're helping people build up their digital uh, business sites and that's that's something that is really needed in today's time because business i mean all business is moving digital so what you're doing uh how you're helping people the startups in taraba region startups in nigeria and you know essentially all across the world now you're helping people move on from physical to, to digital that's that's some awesome work um for people who are joining in from your end my name is sayed sani karhani and i am the founder and CEO of Indian Training Company. Indian Training Company provides web-based training, classroom training, and outbound training to individuals and organizations. And during the uh, strange times when physical distancing is the norm and coming together to learn in a physical environment is inadvisable, web-based training is a fantastic option. Um, using the best of tech, we provide webinars and live online sessions that give learners the same incredible experience of instructor-led training, but remotely. You know, learning is an essential part of life, and I firmly believe that if you're not learning, you're not growing. And I'm sure everybody listening to our live stream right now would agree. Uh, if, if everyone could just send uh, a thumbs up if they agree with me that if you're not learning, you're not growing. 
Um, now, talking about learning, Dominic, in today's time, when the global markets are trembling and we're talking about the new normal, how important do you think it is for people to develop their knowledge, their skills, and their abilities in order to stay relevant? Okay, thank you very much for that question. Okay, um, knowledge by definition is um, information you gather and store. It's more like you gather the information and you're storing, let's say, in your head. Skill, on the other hand, is the ability to apply that knowledge. So, um, what can be translated into value? is your ability to implement the knowledge you've gathered. So um, people pay you for value. So if you want to run a business that is valuable in the community, in your industry, in whatever area of your life you want to actually do something that is valuable, you need to have the knowledge to do that and also um, have a skill that can be translated into that value that they are looking for. So you cannot underestimate the power of knowledge because like you said, without knowledge you can't grow. The reason you are where you are today is because you know what, need, what you needed to get to where you are. Yeah. If you want to go higher, you have to know more. So um, knowledge is very, very important, but constantly practicing and implementing that knowledge is, uh, is also important, which is the skills part. So I, I, would, I would say that it is seriously uh, like very, very important for anybody at all who wants to be valuable. I'm speaking just of um, entrepreneurs alone, employees, um, person, um, freelancers, whoever you are, it is important to improve on knowledge, be able to translate it into value, which is a skill. And you are, you are your way to the top. I, I, I completely agree when you said that uh, it's important not only for people who are entrepreneurs, but it's important for everybody. Um, and I think it doesn't matter if you are a school kid or you're a college student or you're a working professional. Um, and, and of course, when I say working professional, I don't just mean our corporate heroes. I mean everybody from doctors to lawyers to chartered accountants to bankers to pilots to, uh, to engineers to teachers you know everyone you have to keep updating and upgrading yourself it's it's imperative to you update and upgrade yourself and this uh, updation and this upgradation happens only through the acquisition of knowledge skills and abilities um, now, when we're talking about knowledge, we're talking about something like business acumen, which basically means what's going on in my industry. You know, you have to understand what's going on around you. So that's business acumen. That's your that's your knowledge that you need to gain. When we're talking about skills, we're talking about essential skills like communication, like teamwork, uh, problem solving, leadership. When we're talking about abilities, we're talking about a person's aptitude. We're talking about their competence of, uh, of performing a given task. It's, and it's all extremely important. And in today's time, when uh, the competition in the market has increased, you need to be the best and you need to have proofs of ac accomplishments. And that's why a lot of... Uh, organizations you know right from harvard to mit they're, they're providing uh, certificate based courses and programs to help people uh, develop their skill sets and their uh, knowledge bases and also have uh, certificates at an affordable cost to to display as, as their uh, proofs of accomplishments now people with the right set of knowledge skills and abilities are succeeding even in today's times so that's 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 how important knowledge skills and abilities are i mean even when uh, on on the one hand a lot of businesses are shutting down 
uh, other businesses are actually thriving and in fact a lot of new economic opportunities are presenting themselves around the world now my question to you is that as a startup founder as the founder of a startup what tips do you have uh, for new and aspiring entrepreneurs to develop their business okay um, i would i would answers based on mm-hmm. what i find particular with the one the entrepreneurs i meet now one of the things i feel is having the wrong motivational backup having the wrong purpose of starting in the first place because if you are having the wrong mindset when you are starting it will affect your growth every step of the way i listened to a um a post from Brian Tracy i am a fan of his work you know i talk about him a lot i i love his work he said that the purpose of running a business is to create customer and value but profit is the re, the, the the validation that that customer has gotten value and he has become satisfied so we chase after profit without customers we want to just make money it is important as an entrepreneur to make money yes you need the money to grow but that should not be your major motivation it should be um what you are looking at as a reward you are yeah. going to get from being valuable so if you have the wrong if you have the wrong mindset when you are starting out it will affect your whole process and that is one um secondly is i would say um okay i will say this particularly to people i've met so i will say based on the ones i've met and one of the things i see is um commitments being able to okay i will use an example yeah. with jeff jeff um bezos um from amazon he 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 ran company for over three years not making profits and the only way you can keep going when you're making profit is if when you are seeing the goal you are committed to reaching it so when external motivation is lost when all the external motivation you can get around is lost the only thing you have left is you and it's only through commitment that you can actually go an extra mile to move your business from where it is to where it's going to be it's because one of the things that can make you lose us is hunger when you get hungry you are looking for uh dominic your video paused but your video has paused i can't i can't hear you hang on okay try saying something now uh, i think it's it's working again dominic Dominic can you hear me? Can you can you repeat the last part again? We were not able to hear you.
Okay, I have. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to reconnect with Dominic. And yo, buddy, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah, 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 we're back. So you were you were talking about Jeff Bezos, and after Jeff Bezos, I was not able to listen to you. So I was I was actually looking at commitments here. He ran his company for a couple of years without making um, profit, but well, he was willing to go for that because he knew where he was going to and was committed to going to that point. So no matter what was going to stop him, uh, no matter what was going to you know be a problem, he jumped past it. So um, commitment will go a long way to push you beyond what you uh, basically think of your ca your capacity will increase because you have you know a commit you are committed to your goal and everything you want to achieve. So you find out that you can go way beyond your limits. Another thing is um, having a good uh, mindset. Having a good, give, being able to build your mindset because the business world can be a very tough space. You can have shrewd people, you can have people who are tyrants. A lot of people are found in a cheap environment. And without the right type of mindset, you wouldn't know how to communicate, you wouldn't know how to build relationships with these people. You wouldn't know how to um, connect with them. Because it is not everybody you meet in the entrepreneurship market that you are supposed to compete against. Most of them, you are supposed to collaborate with them. So oftentimes, without the right kind of mindset, you won't be able to um, achieve all of this. And I think the mindset system controls, or let's say the belief system, controls virtually everything that happens around the business um, environment. In fact, around productivity as a person, your mindset system, your belief system. Have you have you noticed yeah. that everything they ask you to learn goes inside of here? Every external factor comes inside of here. It, yeah. it, it comes inside here, and it is from here that it is translating into action that you do. So that belief system helps to you know change the way you see the, the way you wish you. you you look at things, you look at things with a very, uh, di okay, I will use uh, the way Jobs look at things. He looks at things as, um, he said in one of, you know, I, I watched one of his documentary and he said that everything you see out there were actually done by people. The thing you call life is somebody's invention. Somebody made things to be the way they are. So if you see things from that perspective, you will believe that you can be more. But no, nobody can actually see things from that perspective if they don't decide to train their belief system, if they don't decide to train their mind to agree to the reality of things. So I think that also is very, very key. So I'm going to stop at these three um, core, um, because I think that is what you need to get ready in the beginning of starting. You know, a lot of things about financial education and all those things can come in later on, but you have to build yourself um, to um, be ready for the hustle or the struggle that yeah. you may encounter when it comes to the real world. Yeah, that was that was awesome. I especially nice love the part where you uh, how you how you mentioned that whatever we experience outside or whatever events are happening around us, we're actually experiencing them inside us, and that's so true because everything is getting registered through our eyes, through our five senses and you know ultimately it's all being processed by our own brain and that's that's how and that's where we uh, actually store all the experiences and that's where the learning is derived from now my take on uh, tips for entrepreneurs is a little different from your take um, and, and your points are amazing. Your point was were your points were actually very philosophical in nature. My points are I'm, I kind of tried to uh, made it a little more practical. So I'm just going to say two things, just two things. Entrepreneurs should okay. focus on HMT. 
Okay, I, I would appreciate if someone can comment it. HMT, and they should always be P and P. Okay, so the formula is HMT plus two P is equal to business success. Can you comment that? HMT plus two P is equal to business success. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, thanks, Wise Wings. So HMT plus two P is equal to business success. Now, what is this HMT? H stands for health and well-being. M stands for money, and T stands for time. Now think about it. Every successful business ever built helps people build their health, be it their social health, their mental health, their physical health, or it helps people make or save money, right? Or it helps people save and leverage time. Yes. Make sense, right? Facebook, Facebook is helping people connect socially. Yes. So it's actually helping people build more social health. Amazon, you order something, it reaches you in a snap. They're helping you save time. If you're a seller on Amazon, they're also helping you make money. So businesses are using the HMT principle over and over again. So all my budding entrepreneurs, everybody who's trying to build up a business, try to think of things that help people maximize on their health, maximize on their money, minimize on their losses, and somehow help people save their time. You know, WhatsApp saves a lot of communication time. Businesses like SurveyMonkey or Wix or WordPress, they're helping people save a lot of time and also a lot of money. And now what is this 2P? What is this 2Ps that I'm talking about? It's, 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 it's probably um, a very simple idea, but it's really powerful. The 2Ps are patience and persistence. And, and Dominic, you agree with me that in an, in an entrepreneurial landscape, and I think all my listeners would also agree with me that in an entrepreneurial landscape, things take time to develop and flourish. And a lot of time, the entrepreneur feels like giving up because it seems yeah. that um, there is going to be no result. But the truth is that you need to be patient with your strategy. And you need to be persistent in your efforts because that is that are the only two things that keep your shop running after a, you know after after a few months into the, into the business you're not making any money uh, you've only got a goal you've only got a dream you got to prove to your family that you're not actually wasting time by uh, by pretending to be an entrepreneur right and uh, you're just you're just pushing on you're just pushing on yeah. That's what you do. And I'm sure you must have also felt the pressure that I'm talking about. Now, <clears throat> finally, this, this brings me to the last bit of this conversation. You have uh, talked about creating a brand, you know, in the past. I, 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 when, when, we had, when we had a discussion uh, before yeah. the live call, I, I was uh, referring to the LinkedIn article okay. that you wrote and it had a lot of uh, viewers and a lot of readers. And I was mentioning how important that point was that people need to create a personal brand in order to create a professional brand. Right now I want you, Dominic, I want you to talk about how people can develop their personal and professional brand. Yeah. 
I can't. Okay. Um. Thank you very very much for for for. The, in fact, your points. Before I go into answering the question, I think your points were they are very 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 um valid. Like I think this happened. Um, um, a lot of times with um, businesses looking for what to do and how to build their business. I don't know if you can hear me clearly. Uh, I can hear you clearly now. Your voice was. Can you hear me clearly? Yeah, your voice was breaking. In between. Okay, uh, so um, the your formula for success is very valuable, and I'm super excited to have heard it from you. And um, I think I want as well to help share that information to a whole lot of people. It makes so much sense. Yes, I can, I so can hear you clearly now. I don't know. Can you hear me clearly so that I know? I, I can hear you clearly now. You're good. Okay, everybody can hear me clearly, right? Um, um, okay. Okay. Um, how about now? Is everything very well now? Very, very yeah. Is everything okay now? Okay. Now, okay. The, um, whether or not you want to build a personal brand, you already have one. I mean, I mean, I have um, already told you one or two things about yourself that they all would say they have an idea, they have a mental picture of who, you know. So, whether or not you want to build one, you already have a personal brand. So, the, the question is you said, how do you now build up a personal brand? Okay, you have to build your personal important things. When I say important things, I mean things that site for growth of your business. What I mean site is brand can have a very small element, as small as integrity could be. As small as integrity could be good in your personal brand. I will use people in the coaching business example. If you're if you're a coach over time as a person, without you must have somebody who likes talking to people and who have helped with people and actually bring out good out of them. Now, anybody who knows you knows you as a person, a good out of somebody. And when you um, you know, a career in business, everybody who has encountered you in your lifetime would want to buy from you because they tr trust who you are from who you are as a person. Not just as a business, but over time, if you are starting a business, over time, your 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 personal brand gets transmitted to your business over time. Most of the um, big yeah. businesses you win from of the personal brand of the founder, it is transmitted into your business, especially at the beginning, because people communicate with you. communicate with you because you are starting out. You don't have a very good big team. You want Want to always communicate with the little team you have, have and most of them are um, learning from who you are. I don't know if you can hear me clearly. Yeah. Okay. Um, I said that um, it could be. Okay, one of the things I, I do, I, I like, like, is simplicity. 
I like simplicity, and most times it is translated in my work. You know, I, 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 I look for ways to make um, my services simpler and faster. I, I look for the quickest and easiest way to get a client's work done. When I mean client's work done, I mean his services to his own customers, in the shoes of the customer, to make sure that he is satisfying whoever he is selling to. And I look for the quickest and easiest means to do that. Now, it is born out of my love for simplicity that that particular quality is now transferred to my business. So, if you focus on the important things that are we allow your business grow or allow your person grow, it will go a long way right. to influence your professional um, a brand, influence, influence your business, whatever you are doing, to go a long way to do that. So focus on the things that are important in moving yourself forward, moving your, your, you know, your brand forward. Now, your, ability, your personal brand can evolve. It, it may start as one thing, and it will evolve into something else. It is normal. It's just more like your wild capacity. What I mean by wild capacity is what um, you want to achieve may change over time. I won't say change, right. it may evolve over time. That is the same way personal brand can evolve over time. So um, when you focus on the things that are important, at each stage, the most important things appear to you, and you build a brand that particular thing. So you end up adding qualities to yourself. It's more like from a child, you are growing up to an adult, and there are a lot of qualities that come with being an adult. You are now, you grow face hair, you grow, um, and all those um, little, little things that grow from a child, you may be, um, you, may, you may have to cut your hair, so many other things. You stop doing certain things so that you can do other things. So when you grow in that manner with the mindset that your personal brand affects how people perceive you, you understand that the important things are the things you should focus on. Most people feel important things. Is import, having important things is hard work. That's the truth. It is not easy to be focused. It's not easy to be... Uh, it's not easy. So people, people feel it is hard work. And in that case, they, they, they fall back to their comfort zone and don't want to change, don't want to add, uh, you know, get a, a life that fits where they are going to, they feel it's too much work, so they, they try to relent. So, but the truth is, for you to grow, you need to have, okay, like I said, whether or not you like it, you have a personal brand. But it has to be a brand that people will be able to invest in. People will be able to put money on your head. If you can't do that, there is nothing you are looking at, virtually. If you can't do that as a person, you can't do that as a business, because... As a person, if somebody cannot trust you, somebody cannot trust you, it's money in the business as well. So like I said, focus on the most important things, things that are, that are crucial to your growth and to your business growth. And yeah. invariably, that those are the yeah. things that are important to your customers, those are the things that are important to your people, people who know you, your audience. So that's my own... Brilliant, brilliant point. I love the point that you made about minimalism and simplicity. And I think that's really important. It also works well with the, the modern uh, design ethos, how all the icons are going flat now, how the Microsoft logo changed, how everything is becoming more 2D from 3D. And uh, not just that, I mean, even the color tones are also kind of uh, uh, going towards the pastel uh, shade card right from the brain sheet card as it was earlier. So minimalism is important. And of course, uh, your point about evolving and how evo how evolution yeah. is important, that was just amazing. Great points overall. You know, I think it's highly important for entrepreneurs to develop their personal brand, at least to some extent, but it's really important. In order to develop their uh, professional brand and business, uh, an individual, a businessman or an entrepreneur should also develop their personal brand. If you look at it on a, on a billionaire level right up here on the food chain and you take Elon Musk's example and all the antics uh, that he does on Twitter, you know, he's a celebrity and not just for being a billionaire, but also for 
being a motivational influencer in a very eccentric way. Uh, if you look, um, if you look on the scale of a few hundred million dollars, you can look at people like Gary Vaynerchuk, whose business and personal brand are so integrated that the consumer forgets whether they're interacting, whether they're buying from Gary V or whether they're buying his products. So it's simple, you know, if people love you, if people trust you, it will be easier for them to love and trust others just based off of her personal brand. Yeah. Right. Um, we had, we had a question now. Uh, Cosmic Chaos is saying, what is the, uh, what should an entrepreneur not do? One thing that they should never, that they should avoid. You want to take that question, Dom, before we proceed further? What do you think an entrepreneur should not do? Okay. Uh, um, I say that um, you should... Um, Okay, what should you avoid? Um, you should avoid um, chasing, will I say, white elephant project. I would say there are things that are not obtainable. Uh, everything is possible, but some things are not just obtainable. You should not, um, you should not work on um, without data. Okay, I would say Amazon built their business on data, and it's based on data from information they communicate with their um so um with their clients their customers to be able to get information that they could use to run the business so i feel if you are going into a market sector always understand that market so you shouldn't go there without any understanding avoid av yeah avoid okay i would i will use what you should you know what you should avoid so be a knowledge seeker so that means you should always seek for knowledge so in that case, you should avoid being the same way you are, yeah. especially when you want to start. There are prerequisites for starting an entrepreneur. So without prerequisites, you cannot go. So don't go into the entrepreneurship space or in your industry without the prerequisites for that industry. I, as a tech person, may need to have an idea of digital technologies, uh, um, how uh, you know trends in the, in the in the IT industry and all like all that. I may not. Uh, I'm not in the fashion industry, so I may not need to know anything about makeup, anything about clothes, or anything about all of that. So, but in my industry where I want to succeed, I need to have a complete education of at least the basics. The basics I need. The the, the little information allow me to learn more. I need to have that idea so if you want to go into a business don't go in blindly don't go in without any prior knowledge because i, I heard somebody say i forgot what i Very heard from he said know enough to ask the right questions that's what he said know enough to ask the right questions so you don't need to be very you know an expert you just need to know enough to ask the right questions. If you go to Google to search for something, the reason you go there to search is because you are precise of what you are looking for. If you search something so random, you get random um, results that you wouldn't even know um, how related it is to what you want. Google may try as much as possible to use that, uh, you know, its technology to give you the best possible results, but it may not satisfy you because you are going there blindly. You don't know the search term to so actually type in, so you can type a long sentence and you don't get what you want. So it's, it's, it's the same way when you're going into a business. You can't go there with just, uh, you know, so true. without any idea at all. So I completely that, agree with all your points. Yeah. You, you were saying something. Please carry on. That was it? Um, now, I was just adding on to your point, man. I mean, your, your, your answer was brilliant, and I completely agree with that. Um, the only thing that I would say an entrepreneur should never do is an entrepreneur should never think that everything is my market. Um, as an organization uh, consulting specialist, when I go to organizations and when I interact with business leaders, so sometimes I, 
ask them questions and I ask them, what does your company do? And I always get alarmed when they start off their answer with something like, oh man, we do everything. So I'm like, nobody does everything. You're, you're not, you're not Brahma. You're not God. You're not Jesus. You don't do everything. Okay? There's always a niche market for, for all businesses. Okay. So for an entrepreneur, it's really important to identify their target market. It's really important for them to identify their skills, their strengths, and then, you know, just go right for it. Just uh, smash the hell out of uh, their core areas. That That is what is needed. Um, well, this has been a great session, Dominic. I mean, I, I, I thought that we're going to go for... 30 minutes, but we actually have uh, gone for more than 40 minutes. Uh, before we close it, any final thoughts from you? Any parting thoughts? Okay. Um, one of the things I, I, I would want to actually add is yeah, um, entrepreneurs need to stay connected. When I mean stay connected, they need to build like a community around themselves that help them to become better than they used to be. It could be just four, two, three people that either are way ahead of you or are gunning for almost the same thing you're gunning for. It gives you guys that push that you need because um, in isolation you can do little or with a lot of people you can do so much. So build a community around yourself. It must not be a very big community. It could be a little community that could help you move further with your growth you can have more people join into your community and grow like that. So don't work in isolation. Always look for opportunities to collaborate, to network, to give value to people and also get value from people. So community is essential for growth. That's, I think CIS Global, Physio Global just said it's community is essential for growth. So it is very, very important. That's my own life. Brilliant, man, brilliant. I completely agree so that uh, it's without a community, so without a network, you cannot function, you cannot flourish. And uh, I think with, with that positive note, we can end this session. I thank you, Dominic, and I thank all of our listeners for tuning in. Um, everybody, please go, please follow Dominic. Dominic, if you can just uh, quickly type in in the comment section your own uh, your Instagram handle and your company's Instagram handle. That would be great. And everybody, it would be really cool if uh, you can go check out my page and you can check out Indian Training Company's page. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. I wish you happiness. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye.